Hey guys, all right, so I am gonna give you guys an update. It's the end of week four, and just kind of tell you the new plan. Um, yeah, I'm kind of having to revamp everything. Update, this is the first week of January, the end of the week uh, of week four, and I've ate junk food all week, y'all. It's been bad. Um, I didn't go to the gym this week. We were off work Monday, and I was just kind of like, you know what, I'm just gonna give myself the week off at the gym, going back this coming Monday, um, and starting my, starting it kind of revamped. Um, and I think like the past four weeks, I've been very like, all right, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And I really feel like I am. And, you know, this past week, I, it, you know, they say right before you start to do something good, you get resistance. And it's really kind of like, life testing you to, you know, see if you really want it. So I kind of feel like this past, this past week has kind of, maybe almost kind of been like the letting go of who I've been for the past year, kind of. Like I've kind of let myself get out of um, this really like striving for things. I don't want to... I want to sound like um, I'm not like working for things and have goals, but um, I feel like this past year I've kind of let go of some of the things that I used to used to really do, and that was a big part of who I am. And now realizing that I am going to get that back and have that part of me back, I think it kind of was like I think this kind of last week was a little bit of a letting go of my old self so to speak I mean that sounds kind of cheesy but that's what it feels like and so um so today as a matter of fact I had junk food and it's like okay I'm letting it all go like not letting it all go but like I, I've done this a couple times where right before I make the switch I just kind of eat a lot of junk food and it just kind of like reiterates like yep I don't like this feeling. I don't want this feeling. It makes me feel worse. My clothes feel tighter. Even, you know how your clothes get tight so you go a little bit baggier? So you like your big clothes? Even the big clothes are feeling tight on me. And it's like, whoo. So it's just kind of like pushing me. And I think a lot of this is, you know, just really acknowledging where I am. Like all these, all these different things that you know, is are easy to push back because they don't feel good. I'm letting myself see them and acknowledge them and it doesn't feel good, but it's pushing me to um, like go hard. So my revamping of this whole thing is, <clears throat> I realized that, sorry, I'm like all in the camera. Um, I realized that, you know, over the past four weeks, all of these things that I'm like, this is the secret, this is what it is, this is what I figured out. I think I've realized that Sorry, I think I've realized what it is. Uh oh, sorry, the texts are going off. Um, I think I realized what it is, is it's all the same thing. It's all having the growth mindset, the success mindset. So that is what I've decided over these next two days. I'm just gonna pour myself into getting this success and growth mindset back into play. Um, every time I've lost weight, it's been the growth mindset. What, Whatever the case was, I had a growth mindset. So that means, um, you know, like really striving for something, who I want to be, where I want to go, those kinds of things. And before what really got me there was listening to a lot of motivational videos. And so that was kind of my thing. Every morning I would listen to motivational videos on YouTube, but then it kind of got to where they all kind of become the same when you watch them so many times. So after that, I went from, I think that's when I stopped filming and I started to kind of gain gain weight back. Um, so now I am, now since then there's been so many new videos. So now I'm diving into podcasts and trying to figure out what kind of career I want, what it, like how I want to build my life. And it really helps me to like, I'm going to like find, working on finding books, people that I admire that have that growth mindset, really just hearing a lot of the people that I, that inspire me, hearing them talk gets me more growth mindset oriented. Um, so that's my, that's my thing for the next two days is I'm pouring myself into all these podcasts and books and research on this growth mindset thing. So 
Um, and then I'm going to do a cleanse. I, I mean, I don't recommend it, but I'm going to do a three-day cleanse. And just go buy some Green Machine smoothie mix at Publix and just kind of eat that for the next three days just to kind of get all the junk food out of me. I mean, it just like, you know, it takes me three days to completely digest everything. So I'm going to be bloated for the next three days, all that stuff. Um, and then I'm ready to get the weight off. So we'll see how things go. Um, I think... I don't want to say I think this is it because I've said that so many times, but I guess this is part of my process is going, getting, you know, making my mind up that I'm going to do it four weeks later, like making effort and learning new things along the way. And then I think once it's like really starts to come into play and I'm really realizing and changing my mindset, I get this resistance and now it's like, okay. But I think the key thing for me is to make sure that I keep that growth mindset. Um, and I'll, t I'll tell you guys what all I do. Um, at like in a couple of, like in a couple of days, I'll kind of like sit down and be like, okay, this is what I watched. These are the videos I watched. These are the books I was kind of listening to all that good stuff. Um, but I think it really is just whatever kind of gets, gets everybody inspired, but that's what kind of gets me going. Um, so anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys and I will see y'all later.